Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we are going to be breaking down how one attains the catch. Uh, it's a brand new spear that got introduced in 2.2. I don't know when you're watching this, but it's probably going to be a spear that everyone's going to want to get at least one copy of, and it's really, really good. The only things that are hindering you from getting it is getting to Inazuma, which I believe you need to be AR like 31 or so uh, in order to actually get over here. But regardless, as soon as you get here, um, at that point you should have unlocked the side quest that lets you unlock fishing, uh, in which you have to talk to Catherine in Mondstadt. <laughs> um, anyway, and then you've unlocked fishing, and now you can make your way over to the fishing fishing association. Also, that quest has you talking to the fishing fishing association. <laughs> but um, as soon as you do that, then you're able to actually interact with um, their vendors. Uh, and of course, the Inazuma one is right down here, pretty close near a checkpoint. So that's pretty nice. I'll show you guys on the map real quick. Lo and behold, there it is, the catch, um, as well as its refinements. Now, why is this weapon so damn good? Well, if we read its intrinsic perk not only does it scale off energy recharge it also has decent base attack like really decent base attack i'll show you guys that in a minute not only that but it has this thing called shanty uh increases elemental burst damage by 16 percent up to i think 30 <laughs> percent which is a lot <laughs> there's a lot of a lot but also your elemental burst um can also crit um now what is your elemental burst your elemental burst is not your elemental skill so your e your quick cast e your like one shot ability um that's uh, that's your e uh, and then your or that's your elemental skill and then your elemental burst is your alt so your big ass huge thing uh so that means your alt can now crit um and there is a great deal of characters especially one to come <laughs> that um that is going to be a spear user that also has a long duration alt but in the game right now outside of ball who this sword is kind of tailored made for there's also a character called shang ling and oh my god is she so so good especially with the new spiral abyss where you just need an abundance of damage she delivers that immensely especially with the new energy recharge set so she can just become incredible like if you're struggling at all with clearing spiral abyss this character is one of the easiest to make uh, and the most yield for your most bang for your buck more or less uh, and again there might be a character coming down the pipeline that also uses a spear and can also benefit from this another character that is insane with the spear is of course ball because she's mainly an alt battery and also her main burst damage comes from her alt um, and also increases the crit when you alt which is immensely good anyways enough hyping up the catch uh, it's very very good and again like i said it's base attack when you get it up to level 90 like i have it's 510 and if we go to something like this it's 449 so not that close and then but that's also because it's not fully leveled up and then if we go to this one this is a legendary five star weapon so they're just added the only one of the reasons why they're so good is because their base attack is so high so that's what that is but if you guys see that the energy recharge of this weapon is only 36 and this is 45 that's a hefty hefty bit of energy recharge and it's hilarious because this thing it it was basically going to have the same energy recharge as this but when you fully level this up you get 45 energy recharge that's huge and why that's relevant is because the set that's going to go best with this is buffing up your alt damage even more um and this is this set which increases your damage of your alt based on your energy recharge so it just perfectly synergizes in a cool way anyways i'm pretty sure you knew all that let's go through how to get the catch in a step-by-step -step basis just really quick uh, make it very obvious and under easy to understand um so essentially how you get the catch is by fishing now, yeah it's pretty easy but um there's basically fishing spots throughout the entire map of inazuma specifically with one spot of incredible high value that you should always try to keep um, back to back cooldown so the fish reset every three days uh, so if you have like a sticky note, if you have something, write it on your phone, write it on a piece of paper, put it near where you play video games, and you'll just know the day that you actually did this. Um, anyways, it's right here. This is the most important fishing spot if you are wanting to get the catch, is this spot right here. Um, it's also a pain in the ass to fish, which is fun. Anyways, um, but yes, this spot right here, in fact, if, if we pull up one of the most useful assets that's in the description of every single one of my videos uh, for Genshin, the Genshin map! Um, yes, so what you're going to want to do is you want to scroll down, or you can go just go to Inazuma, boom, and this will only give you Inazuma markings, uh, which is quite nice, and all of the fish here are not just Inazuma, so probably don't do that, actually go to all areas. Anyway, so if we go to the most important fish, um, or all the fish that you are going to need to level up the catch and to refine them, uh, you are going to need primarily this thing called 
called R R Special Version of Purple Fish, <laughs> Special Glowy Purple Fish, uh, which is located here. Um, in this, you'll see why it's basically an electric pool. Uh, so these fish have gotten like tainted, and there's a max of three that can spawn at this point in a given day or every three days. Um, and this is the thing that is basically your like world limiter. So when you start farming for the catch. Uh, this is the thing that's going to determine how far you're going to be because every three days only three of these, of these can spawn and there's like really no variability and it's kind of crappy in that regard. But regardless, you're going to need this special fish and I'll go through the go in the world and show you guys what this is all about and what this looks like. I will say they're also pretty hard to catch but the mini game is relatively easy. But if you are struggling with like fishing in, in, this, in, uh, in this region, what you can do is go to the fishing vendor we were just at and actually purchase uh, a, a fishing rod, Inazuma's fishing rod, which will make Inazuma fishing easier. So just real fast. I haven't really wanted to do that because I'm waiting to like math out everything to make sure I can basically buy everything at once just because I like doing that. Anyways, uh, so this is the primary thing you're going to need. And then the next thing you're going to need are these things called Golden Koi and a Rusty Koi. Um, and that's the other main thing that you're going to need. The good news is that this, these two have many different spawn points throughout Inazuma. So we take off this, so this is one of the places, so if you want to mark this on your map, that'd be ideal, or if you just keep this tab open, it will save your information if you allow cookies, it will essentially save wherever you have marked. Yeah, Inazuma is pretty sparse with Koi, so you're gonna, which is weird, <laughs> you think it would be here. Anyways, regardless, Mondstadt and Leeway have a bunch, this is a point, uh, this is a point, um, and I believe there's one more point, yeah, right over here, um, and then there's one more all the way at the top here, oh, there's two more, sorry, uh, boom, boom, so yeah, just use the map and you'll find these. Now, uh, that's how you get the base of the, the, the staff, uh, of the, the catch. But how you get its refinements is where the agony starts. And it it's horrific. <laughs> it sucks so hard. You need so many. Um, you don't need Golden Koi. Once you get 20, I believe, uh, you're good to go. You can buy the catch. Uh, but the thing that you're going to need an abundance of, Pufferfish. So you're going to need Bitter Pufferfish, and you're going to need Pufferfish Pufferfish. <laughs> okay, just base. Um, and these guys can spawn uh, in a lot of places, but they're all horrific to, to farm. They are awful in a big way, <laughs> okay? But they can spawn here, so you can go here, farm them. This is good. Uh, there's a spot here, you can go and farm. There's a spot down here, boom, farm that one too. Um, and we're going we're gonna to go through the minutia of how to fish properly in this game as well. There's also two spots right here, uh, one spot there and one spot there. I already cashed in all of my Inazuma ones as of today. Okay, because we're at the Fishing Association, I just want to go through why. Like, I think you need each upgrade ascension for the catches ascension which is huge it ascends really hard too so it goes beyond i think maybe it goes to 35 or something like that but it goes it basically ascends very very quickly uh, and very very highly it makes a big jumps every single time you do it but yeah you need 10 10 and 10 and there's four of these meaning you need like 40 or 30 uh 40 i think at a base 30 if you've already chipped off one um to get consistent versions versions of these um also again it's limited by this specific fish which can only farm every three days so try to keep the this is on cooldown the much as much as you can so now I'm going to have poached all of the places or all of the things in this area um, you when you come to this area you will have to clear it out really quick so it's just as simple as going to this fishing uh, fishing boat and just heading on over there that's it yes and as you can see there's a shit ton of enemies so um, basically there's also a wizard so you're just gonna get to the center dock right here this kind of mast uh, you're just gonna land you're gonna kill that thing and then I'll, honestly, the, a lot of the other enemies are going to come after you, <laughs> so be careful. It's going to be a mess. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Some of this. Um, also, it doesn't matter if you spook the, the fish. Uh, you can just wait, because uh, that's one of the strats, essentially, for uh, for fishing in general. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, uh, this spot will be fishing. Now, if you come here and there is no fish, because you were fighting and you maybe spooked them, or maybe you fell into the water, it's okay. It doesn't mean they disappear and they're gone. What it means is that they've, they've like, scurried away. So, what you need to do in order to get them back is you need to change the day and night cycle. So, if you're at night, go to day. If you're at day, go to night. Um, and that will recalibrate the, uh, the fish. Um, now, if we go and see the fish as well, um, now, they're not going to be here because I already fished them this week, um, but basically, if they weren't here, you do this. If you jumped in the pool and uh, they scurried off, you would just reset it again, go to day, and that's it. 
Now, if we open this, you guys can see that there's only one type of fish that can spawn here, usually meaning that there's like three to yield. Um, and they're pretty hard to catch. Also, this goes without saying, but if you're going to participate in fishing, one of the first things that you're gonna need to do um, is just fish uh, to your heart's content to get a bunch of basic red fish and blue fish and ex all of these other fish. So basically, you're just gonna wanna buy all of the bait. So if you're gonna wanna start fishing, you're gonna wanna buy all of the bait blueprints and make a shit ton of bait. Um, that is one of the things that's probably going to be holding you back. Which, yeah, by the way, uh, is at that monster place where I was hovering over. So go there, buy up all of the fish bait that you can, go to the crafting uh, workbench, the alchemy bench, and make a bunch of bait. You also will need some supplies to do that. Inazuma like supplies like blossoms for the for the biggest fish possible, which is what we're going to be hunting for, koi and puffer fish, but yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're making our way to a special pot, a spot. It's kind of annoying to get to this one, but again, when you are you need so many puffer fish, you're going, you're going to need to basically get all of them. So you guys can see that there's a whirlpool. Now we're going to cover some fishing things again but you can specialize in your specific ideal fish okay <laughs> so um, they're basically like daytime fish and nighttime fish as well uh, so take that into consideration but if we go where is it there it is right here so you guys can see there's a puffer fish in there so we want the puffer fish and also we want some of the other ones but i'll just get the puffer fish for you guys just for now so anyways this is the point where you could change your fishing rod and actually fishing rods do differ quite a lot so it, the monster fishing rod helps you fish in Mondstadt basically makes it so that you can catch things faster all that stuff it just makes it all overall easier time fishing same with the thing with the leeway one same thing with the uh, Inazuma one um, and there's also a special event one that is probably gone by the time you're watching this video so yeah but it basically worked for everything so if the event comes back do the fishing event but uh, I, I'm not sure how much they're going to utilize fishing so we'll see if that's entirely necessary we'll see Anyway, uh, so yeah, I only have the I only have the beginner fit thing just because I don't really find the mini game too insufferable and too hard. So, anyways, uh, so first of all, we're just gonna get the main thing that we want there. So we're just gonna aim near him, throw it, and hope that we don't spook him. Oh, you spooked him because they big boys. God damn it! <laughs> Come on, we nailed it. Okay, um, so now he's just gonna bite, and we're just gonna do the mini game. I'll speed this up because it's a little annoying. Okay, so we just took the the pufferfish now. There's no other fish that spawns. Now, what we, we could do one or two things, and I would suggest doing a little bit of both of these. So, first of all, I'm just going to start basically trying to suck the life <laughs> um, out of this, this pond. So, get as many fish out of this pond so the new ones can spawn in. But oftentimes, if you've, already, if you've already farmed two and there's not a new one coming in, that's basically you've reached the capacity for this day cycle. So, you just go to night or day, depending on where you're at. Um, and, yeah. And, boom. Are we going to get another fish? We are not. So we're just going to stop fishing. We're going to go down here to this and we're going to go to daytime and we might get a couple more puffer fish. And again, you're just going to keep pulling fish until you, um, until it's some people go until it's depleted and you will need a lot of a lot of fish. But like you said, but like I said, we're mainly after puffer fish because of how much the catch needs. So we're just going to aim for this puffer fish specifically. Um, and yeah, um, and yeah, I'll be back when I've gotten all these things. But yeah, fishing, if you're trying to like take out the whole pond, it can take a long, long time. But if you're just going for the puffer fish and you're cycling today, you're checking the like the spots and seeing if you got lucky and a lot of puffer fish spawned. And if you didn't, then just skip the spot. Come back in three days and, and hopefully get it. Um, now, if you're planning on getting everything, then sure. But I'll, I'm telling you this, man. I've, I've we just, there's an, a fishing event that just went that just basically just happened, and I am thoroughly thrashed when it comes to f fishing. I'm just like I, I this was a fun mini game, and now I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> I want it to be over and I know there's so much more which is also why I think it's probably smart that Mahoyo put like the three day cap on it otherwise you would be burnt to shit <laughs> from doing this you just be like I don't want to do this anymore I hate it it sucks <laughs> it's annoying it's frustrating it feels like just to like in order to take one step it takes an eternity like this but also I should have the better fishing rod at this point but I just keep neglecting it but anyways, also again, uh, because we're taking puffer fish and no other fish are taking their spot, that means this is capped out. Uh, so yeah, no need to keep going uh, and like resetting the day night cycle to see if more are going to spawn because otherwise we'd see them pop up when we take one of the puffer fish out. Caught it. Easy. All right. Now we're going to leave. We're going to the next spot. Now, again, if you wanted the koi, you'd go over here. There's a, a koi right there. There's also a koi in this like tiny little place right here. So yeah, I'm just going for the puffer because that's what I need. But I'm also trying to show you guys the, like the mechanics of fishing and how to like force the result that you desire. Otherwise, this is going to take a long time, like a long, long time to sit there and fish. Oh, you hate to see it. Okay. So there's nothing. There's very few things there. So what I would do in this instance is I would just try to again like try to 
to rip up, rip out some of the fish to see if any good ones spawn. So I would take some of the tinier ones because they're super easy to snatch up real fast. Um, and you do need an absurd amount of most of these. Not leeways, weirdly enough. Uh, but you do need a lot of the red ones. So if you can get those ones, then get those ones. Uh, so yeah, nothing spawned. Oh no, he did. So another thing spawned. So I would just go ahead and keep capturing. Ooh, that may be way too close. Yep, yikes. <laughs> Basically tried to spear him. That'd be awesome, Mahoyo. Could you give us spear fishing instead? Instead of it just being this like... Just trying to, you know, keep everything on the up and up. Although I feel like it would get really bloody really fast in the water. Yikes. Anyways, let's see. There has been no other ones that's taken its place. No, there has. It's just taken forever. Big yikes. You will need a lot of bait. Like I said, you need like 40 or 20 per puffer fish. So you're going to need a lot. And also you're going to need a lot of other ones if you're planning on leveling the fishing association. So yeah. And uh, that's it. So we've tapped at this one. I just want to double check. Uh, now we're just going to go to nighttime. And hopefully we'll get some puffer fish. Like two? Like just two. <laughs> Anything, please? Please, for the love of God. We got one puffer fish. Maybe two. When we start fishing, we'll get something. <laughs> Yes, this is the exciting. Oh, I hate it. I thought my thing moved last minute. Um, this is the exciting gameplay. Yes, <laughs> of getting one of the best weapons in the game. I love when they give us such a good weapon, and it's behind one of the least combat-focused experiences I've ever played ever. <laughs> so, good times, <laughs> Mario. Could we have like a battle arena, and when you beat it, you get like a DPS weapon rather than this weird passive thing that gives you such a good DPS? DPS weapon weird <laughs> and I think one more took its place so again I'm just gonna try to bleed this thing dry again some people go until the whirlpool is just dead I think that's a nightmare <laughs> it seems like a lot maybe when you get a fishing rod it's literally just like they bite it instantly and there's no downtime god that'd be nice no that is not the how it works. <laughs> All right. Come on, give me another puff of fish. There is no puff of fish. We have sp uh, completely just purged this whole spot. <laughs> uh, there. Okay, we're going to go to morning. We're going to go to daytime because there was nothing uh, there at night. And I, uh, after you take like one out, another should spawn. So if another one doesn't spawn, that means they're already at max capacity and there's not like any more hidden behind the surface. So be careful with that. Um, he's not looking good for puffer fish. <laughs> he's looking very bad, actually. <laughs> Hate it. Anyways, come on, little ones. Let me take one of you out and let me see a pufferfish come in its place. Please. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I need this. Okay. <laughs> Again, with that being said, though, I not really. Like, in hindsight, like, no, it's not. No, we're fucked. <laughs> I'm leaving. But in hindsight, sorry, like, I'm still in, like, a inevitable, what is it, three-week delay or three-day delay, essentially. So I need to wait three sets of three days, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Anyways, um, it's going to take a long time before I get like the ability to really get after all of the things I want because again everyone is limited by that specific kind of fish whatever it's called the, uh, the like luminescent purple one um, but yeah everyone's limited by that fish so you need to be careful even still so like but I still you still need an abundance of these fish so I think this is the point is that if you're able to like do all of these spots and get all the puffer fish um, and uh, simultaneously make sure you're always on the three-day cooldown with the other one and in between you get these ones I think you're gonna be okay uh, but I just do know, like, pufferfish is one of those things that I was like, oh, I, 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 these ones take forever to, like, rain in, and it, they suck, so I was kind of avoiding them. But it's like, nope, no, nope, they are the one of the most, you need, like, 30 of them, which is really 60 of them, because you need double of each type, which is wild. Anyways, um, I don't think there's any more that's going to be spawning, but we'll try. We'll take one more tiny one out, and then we'll reset, and that'll be it. That'll be all the f uh, pufferfish spots. Not not in total. This is just the ones, like, I've already done a bunch this, this week. Uh, and you probably should put them all on cooldown, but man, I'm just too tired of fishing. I should be trying to pay, like pace this out, and I've never been that person. <laughs> I've never been the person to be like, but what if we just did things in moderation? <laughs> Flawed human being as I may be, well, here we are, making videos for people who may be having the same struggle. As I, God damn it! Oh, don't swim too close, come on! There it is, nice. Oh, see, yes, yeah, just then. So we just pulled out one, and another took its place. Um, I don't think it's based on size. Like, I don't think, like, because pufferfish are big boys, they take up, like, more pool area. So if you take little ones, they don't actually show you, like, the, there's not enough space creation. I don't think that's how that works. So, yeah, I think you should be okay to do that. But ultimately, guys, like, if, if anyone's, like, wondering, like, this seems, like, excessive. <laughs> um, I think that the best way, like, I think that this is made in a way to be paced out. Um, and, and I've kind of, like, because there's an event going on right now where you can really try to, like, farm for fish. Um, I've been kind of like hyperactively doing stuff. Also, that one doesn't really count. I believe this one's called a rare fish, which is just a fish you can have in your pond, which is pretty dope, but 
yeah, <laughs> you know, not quite what we're after anyways. <laughs> Yeah, these ones also are way wilier and take a lot longer of a time to catch. Here we go! I sometimes feel like it doesn't move. <laughs> like, it just pauses for no reason. Anyways, we got a really rare puffer fish. Nice! Golly! Okay, we're done. Alright, um, so- Oh my god, look at that! Luck E! <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> Um, anyways, again, after all that fishing, we are still limited by the purple type. So again, I, like I was saying, I think that if you're having worry about this, I, first of all, you absolutely can do it. It's one of those things that you can just chip away at, and you only need the fish that you need. If you don't want to get all the other ones, you don't have to. I would suggest, just if you're about to leave the pool because you don't have any more puffer fish or any more koi or whatever you're after, um, throw, like, take some of the tinier fish out just to see if any new ones spawn and then change the day cycle. And if you see some more, get all the ones you want and pull out a tiny one. Although, if you, if you do see, like, a puffer fish and you yoink him out of the pool, then he should be replaced by another thing. So, if you pull the puffer fish and he, or the koi and there's nothing there, then, then, yeah, you could just change a day cycle. And then, if nothing happens or if there's no more that you can get, then just leave and go to the next spot, next spot. It's basically changes. I think people were in the habit of, like, I'm going to farm the shit out of everything. And it takes a long time to get all of the tiny fish, especially if you don't have the uh, rods that can increase your progress. So, um, if you just do this every three days uh, when it resets, so when you go to get the purple fish, just go get some puffer fish and some koi, and just like jump around, only get the ones you want, and then leave. I will say you will eventually need the other ones, but I would say focus on that later, especially when a lot of this stuff is like cosmetic coolness, um, but not necessary. Like a like a fishing pole is neat. Um, it can maybe help your progress, more or less just make it more bearable, um, but it's still not as valuable as just getting the fish you need and leaving with your peace of mind still intact of not having to grind this into the ground. But ladies and gentlemen, I've talked to you off more than enough today. Uh, I will be making another video and it might actually be out by the time you see this. Um, also, by the way, I did mention this at the beginning of the video. Thank you so much if this did help in any way. If you appreciate any support on the video as always. <laughs> Sorry about that. I always forget to do that. Anyway, that is how you get the catch, a weapon that is very, very good and we'll show that in the next next video tomorrow hopefully depending on how I upload these <laughs> but anyways I just want to bombard you guys with videos about the one one thing but also I was wondering how you get the catch and the minutia to just amplify your progression if you happen to hear me out uh, which is essentially go to a spot get the ones you need and then leave and there's methods to check if you've gotten all the ones you need you need you don't have to like deplete a, a whole pool just to see you basically just pull out one and if another takes its place and there's still more to give pull out another one if another one takes its place pull out there's no more okay then you're done you've tapped it out and move on to the next place if you've already done the day night cycle change with there which is usually two yields to each pond um, and yeah, just go there, find them, also use the resource that now is uh, updated on the Genshin map. When we first started fishing, there was no update, even though this is the official Genshin map. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, uh, we had to kind of sp f find things on our own, but the map is actually very good now to find the specific fish that you need, which is koi, anything koi, blue koi, red koi, anything pufferfish, glowing green pufferfish, glowing orange pufferfish. And then, of course, keep that one spot on cooldown, and you will get this in no time. Also, uh, chill out. Uh, I feel like I'm ruining this in some part for because of because I'm like trying to get it as much as possible, and I'm not just staying in a proper cycle. Meaning every Wednesday, meaning every, meaning every uh, uh, Sunday or Saturday, I'll do it again. And yeah, I'm kind of like doing a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, which means everything's off cooldown in weird ways, um, and it's just kind of like a ugh, experience. Or I don't think it's supposed to be that. I think I'm just kind of messing it up for myself a little bit, so I would suggest that you guys just take your time, calm down, chip away at it. It's not like the weapon isn't good or like significantly better than what most everybody has in terms of support weapons. Uh, yeah, it's like it doesn't even come close to things like this or things like this. It's just its own beast entirely. So yeah, um, even just the base is good, and if you get two refinements on it, then it's you're dealing 20% more damage and get seven more crit rates. That's amazing. Also, I believe the crit rate eventually goes up to 12. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, in the next video, we're going to be showcasing the power um, of this weapon. Maybe, yeah, we'll do it at some point. I think I want to make a video on the Raiden Shogun just because I'm having such a good time with her and I want to kind of show her in tangent. But I want to kind of do a video where we, t we give we give the spear to just about everyone. Give it to Rosaria. So if you're like, do I really need this spear? We'll show you the difference of before and after with Rosaria, with Shang Ling, uh, with all of them, uh, and see if it really does <laughs> pack as much of a punch as people keep saying, which I think it does. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe button over there. Two videos to further that way. Thank you once again, and goodbye. <laughs>